whole pattern of events while he was president to sabotage the presidency. The evidence uh, shows that we're not dealing with just uh, mistakes or sloppiness. There was something far more troubling here, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. Mm, that was Attorney General Bill Barr back in April, vowing to root out corruption within the FBI's handling of the Russia probe. And this morning, a bombshell document release revealing Robert Mueller's investigation went beyond the scope of Russian collusion. So what does this mean for the Bureau and what does it mean for the key players involved? Joining us live to break it all down, Gail Trotter. Good to see you this morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Jillian Robb. Good morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at these investigations that were authorized in the scope memo, and that includes Carter Page, George Papadopoulos, Paul Manafort, Michael Flynn. What does this mean for those men who are on the screen right now? They say that sunlight is the best disinfectant, and we're seeing a lot of sunlight on the Mueller investigation and the fatal flaws that kicked off the order that started the Mueller investigation itself. You might remember that this memo that came out is, as revealed today, it shows that it was trying to correct some of the problems in the original memo by Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. And as you said, the scope of it is breathtaking. Uh, we understood in conjunction with this some of the documents that have been released by the Department of Justice in relation to General Flynn's case show that there was a pretext for investigating General Flynn in the first place. And this memo, newly released, confirms that. It is charging the Mueller uh, team to go after General Flynn, possibly for for a Logan Act violation. The Logan mm -hmm. Act is a 1700s era law that has never been uh, successfully resulting in the conviction of any uh, defendant. So we're seeing that the scope of this uh, investigation was very broad, and there were a lot of concerns about whether or not it was in compliance with Department of Justice regulations on special counsels. And this is more sunlight showing that the investigation was right. very problematic. Evidently, what this is going to reveal is that not one of the 53 witnesses interviewed in this investigation, it's like 6,000 pages, found evidence or had evidence of Russian collusion. Another line from the foxnews.com article that everybody's been retweeting is that Adam Schiff is in panic mode. Does he have a reason to be? He absolutely does. And there are a lot of people who are responding to this around the country saying, if these documents have already been authorized to be released and Adam Schiff is standing in the way of their release, he has reason to panic because he's not fulfilling his obligation to make this accessible to the public. And the more we learn about this investigation and the men who were targeted, we understand that there was no obstruction, there was no collusion, and this was all a pretext and it should be troubling to everyone. Like Senator Graham said last night, this is J. Edgar Hoover stuff. Mm. Uh, real quick, Gail, who else should be nervous right now? Uh, certainly the attorneys who represented General Flynn. There's been information coming out about perhaps ineffective assistance of counsel and uh, also the FBI agents who decided to target an innocent man in General Flynn. Mm.